Three years ago, my team and I began a series called Cryptid Files. This is Cryptid Files Unbound, a case-by-case -case study of the 50 states that make up the United States of America, the 13 provinces and territories that make up Canada. In this journey, we'll discover cryptids that we didn't even cover within the original series, and may see some familiar faces. See you guys there. Hello everyone, Firestrike here, and welcome to Cryptid Files Unbound. Today's episode, The Deadly Lakes of British Columbia. Let's start off with some basic info. British Columbia is a Canadian province on the west coast of Canada. It is surrounded by the American states of Alaska and Washington, and the Canadian province and territory of Yukon and Alberta. The heavy hitter of this episode is the Ogopogo, a lake monster seen in Lake Okanagan. This entity has Native American folklore, or First Nations folklore. It is a dangerous creature, and is known to whip up waves if you do not sacrifice anything to it. This creature got its name in 1924, when a historian named Mark M. Orkin heard a folklore song in the city of Vernon in British Columbia. <laughs> It has been seen from 1872 to just recently in 2018. However, in 2008, a local photographer named Sean Veloria noticed a creature behind, well, a boat. Monster Quest in 2009 would make its episode on Ogopogo and would, well, sort of make it look like a plesiosaur. There was a sighting in 2018 that showed a giant snake swimming in the water that was about 49 feet in length. He was understandably excited for two brothers who say they saw Ogopogo earlier this month off Bear Creek Park. When you're sitting on the beach on a sunny day, you don't expect to see a dinosaur come out of the water. In 1992, Paul Derma videotaped something, quote, something or some things that were traveling across the surface in a fairly good speed, around 8 kilometers or 5 point or 5 miles per hour. In 2005, FBI video specialist Grant Fredericks concluded that the video was very consistent with debris, but he also pointed out that, a cr that the creature did not attack a water skier, but yeah. In the 1980s, Ogopogo was listed as a endangered species, but a lot of people tried to look for it for a long, long time. In 1989, John Kirk reportedly saw an animal that was 35 to 40 feet long and consisted of five jet black humps with a lashing tail. Moving on, Kiborosaurus. Kiborosaurus is a sea serpent from, well, folklore, and well, it's a sea serpent that is found in Kiboro Bay all the way down to San Francisco Bay in California. Kiborosaurus is said by many witnesses to resemble a serpent with vertical coils and humps in tandem behind a horse-like head and a long neck with a pair of elevating frontal flippers and either a pair of hind flippers or tail fluke. There have been several explanations for the creature, that being a basking shark, giant oarfish, or sea lion. However, the problem with that is that, well, caddy gets up to 24 feet in length. There have been more than 300 sightings during the past 200 years. In 2009, fisherman Kelly Nash reportedly filmed several minutes of footage featuring 10 to 15, including young creatures in Nishagak Bay. Last year, he shot this video of what looks like a sea monster. Okay, just keep watching. Now watch, its head's gonna come out. Its head's gonna pop up. Check this out. Oh, no! In 2011, a very short segment of footage was shown on the Discovery where the Hillstrand brothers apparently saw Nash's footage and unsuccessfully tried to find one of these creatures. Kiborosaurus, at least to most of it, is either described as a mosasaur, also could be a thasosaurus or some different type of whale. Moving on. Vancouver Island Bipedal Lizards. Ew boy. There are two separate reports of very similar bipedal reptiles from Vancouver Island, and a report for the exact same creature from Texada Island. Basically, these bipedal lizards are 
pretty big. According to local folklore, the bush mechanics who worked on the interior BC claim that there's a valley rich in timber which is populated by enormous ravens bigger than the golden eagles. They say that these ravens are dangerous animals, very opportunistic, and will not hesitate to rip someone's camp apart. They are nearly flightless and have a lot of red in their plumage. Join us next time, where we tackle California. See you guys then.